So, as of April 1st, 52 players have opted in for the 2021 WNBA draft. Now, while this is great, it also is unfortunate at the same time. Because you don't have that many teams, and only 144 players are going to make it to be able to play on the teams that we do have in the WNBA. So, you're going to have a lot of great talent that's going to get either one drafted, drafted, and then eventually cut, or not drafted at all, and they're going to end up going and playing overseas. Like, WNBA, it's been time for y'all to expand and add more teams. I know Natasha Cloud mentioned about Philly getting a team. I think that's a start. Um, continue working on that. But you need way more things than that. Um, there's so much talent that's going to come in this year's draft and probably the next two to three years that expansion is definitely the only answer to make it that all this talent gets to fulfill their WBA dreams. Um, rosters are only set at, what, 12 roster should be at least 15 or 16 players you know injuries do happen but a lot of times these rosters are only at 10 or 11 because by the time you play you pay your big name players or you leave open a, a, a open roster spot for for a um, veteran that eventually you sign later towards the playoffs that means a young player isn't getting that opportunity. These players are going to end up not getting drafted or going overseas and become being great over there and still possibly coming back the following season, getting a training camp contract just to still not make that roster. And it's sad and it's unfortunate. So hopefully the WNBA and the... Um, the people that are in charge of expansion and making that happen really listen to the fans and the um the fans and the WNBA players and they the fact you need more teams to cater to all the amazing talent that's coming into the league.